So the second installment of looking at some of the older tools, kind of some uh, console, text mode, terminal utilities. Um, last one we looked at SC, the spreadsheet calculator. So this is the other calculator, um, one that I actually use a lot, uh, which is DC, or the desk calculator, um, which is a very, very handy calculator. Um, it's uh, reverse Polish, um, so it's stack-based, makes it super easy to work with numbers. I mainly use it if I'm in the middle of something and need to do a quick calculation. Uh, so, fire it up, in and out on standard in, put a number in, enter, goes on to the stack. You want to see the stack, you get an F. P shows you the top of the stack. So let's put in another 10. See our total stack. We have two 10s. And then our operator. Then that's put it back onto the top of the stack, so we'll need to pull it off, or pop it, pop it off um, the top of the stack. So pretty handy as is. Um, So we get a zero there, right? So ordinarily it is a decimal point zero. So one of the first commands here to look at is we want to add some decimal points there. So we'll say four, put that on the stack, and then the K operator sets the precision. So we'll do that again. Now we get our uh, decimal point. Uh, one of the uses I use this a lot for is base conversion. So we can set both an input and an output base. Um, let's say I want to do some conversions from decimal to hex. Put 16 on the stack. Set our output uh, base. So 255 FF. So we'll set our let's do two. Set our output base. Pop it off again. Super handy, right? So base conversions and similarly with the O operator, we could use the I operator to set the input base. So if you wanted to say take octal to uh, whatever. One of the things I'm not going to get into here there are a lot of additional features. So this is just how I use it, which is just as a quick and easy calculator. Um, mainly use it for doing uh, numeric base conversions. One of the other nifty things it has are registers and macros. I'm not gonna, not gonna look at that now because this will, that'll take too long. Um, but look at the man page. It has an excellent man page. By the way, this tool is old. I mean, I'm guessing it's from the 70s. Um, but you can actually store strings of commands into a register and execute them and there's some basic control flow. For more advanced programmatic calculating, there's another command, BC. And this is DC, Delta Charlie, BC, Bravo Charlie. Uh, kind of layers on top of this, uh, which is a more complex calculating framework. Uh, leave a comment below if you want to see something on BC. But most of the time I just use DC. Let's get out of here and I'll show a couple more tricks um, with DC while we're here. So. One of the things you can do is give it your input on the command line. So we'll use a, a here document in, in bash. Let's just say so you can do a quick calculation on the command line. Handy for shell scripts um, and other things where you need to quickly calculate on the command line. And then of course you can do something similar in VI. There you go. Forgot my uh, forgot my bang. Um, 
I've got to be careful not to use Emacs here because the some of the keystrokes in Emacs conflict with some of the hotkeys for the screen recorder. So why I'm using VI. But so it's an incredibly powerful little tool if you need to do calculating and you don't want to take up too much uh, too much time or space. So that's it for this. Um, again, as always, please leave a comment suggestion if A, you want to see a quick little video on BC, uh, which is another uh, terminal calculator program. It has a little bit more of an advanced programming language. Uh, or you'd like to see something on macros in DC, so registers and macros. Or any, if you have any suggestions for any of these other little tools. Otherwise, I'll just continue running through the uh, the tools I like. Thanks.